探して三千里。僕らのミュージックスタッフ、TDK AD。Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video.、Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how I made、uh, this cassette mixtape、uh, for my friend, and I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own. So my friend is a sort of big collector of sort of physical music. Media, so she quite likes CDs and cassette tapes and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I had some blank cassette tapes lying around,、um, and I went. I thought I'd go and make her one.、Uh, so the first thing I did was I got out the box of obsolete media and picked out this、uh, this mixtape.、Uh, this has 90 minutes on it, which means it was 45 minutes on each side. Because if you don't know about cassette tapes, they have two different sides to the tape,、um, about 45 minutes each way. So the most important thing to do, first of all, is、um, create a playlist、uh, from on your computer on your sh- chosen streaming site.、So、I use Apple Music, so I brought up two. I spent a while making two playlists, about forty-five minutes roughly in each length.、Um, I and I also、uh, cut in little splices of audio from like videos and us together and things like that.、Uh, so the next thing to use is I went in and got this、um, this. Really big stereo.、Um, uh, it's called a Matsui MIDI 55. I think it's a bit、uh, past its time, but the belt on the cassette recorder still works. So, so after that, I went to grab a aux to phono cable.、Um, you'll really、uh, most, if not all,、uh, cassette recorders probably have phono input.、Uh, they're pretty cheap if you can get them, but I'd recommend getting a pretty nice one. Put it on my desk, plugged it in the back, and then plugged the the aux cord into the headphone jack on my computer. So next thing to do is make sure that your input is on the headphones if you might have、uh, an audio interface like I do running, and also to turn the volume all the way up.、Um, this is so that the、um, this is so that it, the tape recorder can hear everything that's coming through on the stereo because、um, I've done it before with only having it at half volume and it's mostly just noise. So next thing to do is just load your cassette in, make sure it's rewound all the way. But it, if it is, it would be if it was like brand new. Do type side A first. Press both play and record、uh, on the player, and then press play on、um, your playlist. And then you just have to leave it there for. Like forty-five minutes or however long your playlist is for. Don't do anything on your computer, especially anything that could make noise. Otherwise, that will come through on the cassette because it isn't just recording the playlist; it's recording your whole computer audio. So you know, don't play any video games or anything like that. Just go do something else for forty-five minutes.、Uh, set a timer and then come back. So come back from your break for around about the time that the playlist is done,、um, and then. Uh, press stop and then eject it and flip it round and do side B. You don't have to rewind it because if side A has already gone round, that means side B has been rewound. If that makes any sense,、um, and then just do the same as last time. While you are doing that, though, you could work on some cover art. Now, this is the hardest bit of the whole project I found, and I went through so many different、um, mistakes and different measurements, but I worked it out as.、Uh, 10.1 times 9.3 mil- centimeter. No, centimeters. Yeah. So do with that what you may. There's also this really interesting J card generator where it can be pretty boring, but it comes out with pretty cool results.、Uh, if you would have like a collection of them, and that's a lot easier if you're not very good with Photoshop or graphic design things like that. It looks kind of cool and minimalist. So once I printed it out, I then just went and、um, folded it in size. Um, using the old one to help,、uh, the text was slightly off, and that's kind of annoying, but not too much that it ruins it. I think I might make another one and just give her the replacement insert one day. But aside from that, it works fine, and it looks pretty cool too. So on Photoshop,、uh, if those are interested in Photoshop, I probably will do another video on how I kind of achieve that aesthetic because、uh, it looks really cool, and I want it looks kind of emo, like an American football album, but. <laughs> At the same time, I really like the look. But yeah, other than that, though, that this is my finished result. 
Um, this is a lot of fun making cassettes, actually, especially now with like when you have access to all the music in the world and you can put in your own little bits of audio and things like that, it, you can sort of really personalize and customize it for people. Um, I'm really good for giving this to her. I've now just got to wrap this and then go to her house. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different, but I've been trying to mess around with a lot of different ideas for content. So you could be seeing a lot of interesting different stuff. Hopefully all music related though, because that's my thing. Um, but aside from that, have, have a good one guys, that's all.